all fly away together. One last time. Into the forever. That beautiful sky. I want to start with you. When you saw Adam Warlock being teased in the Volume Two credit scene, was there a part of you was like, "Oh yeah, that that's going to be me in a few years' time"? <laughs> yeah, no, I knew from that moment on that it would be yeah, me. Obviously, and, uh, I, no, I had absolutely, you know, no clue, and not even in my wildest dreams that I kind of really entertained that. Um, so it's really crazy to to think back on watching that end credit scene now as a, as a fan, you know, of of the second movie. Um, and to think that I was in that cocoon, that's really, uh, that's really wild. And Chuck Udi, I think there's a wonderful moment in one of the earliest scenes with a high evolutionary where he gets a little step. So he <laughs> oversees Aisha. I just feel it tells you so much straight away about that character. So I was wondering for you in the, like playing the character in the script, what was the small moment that made you realize that you got this character? Um... It's from the, the there were there were two moments that ho happened almost at you know around the same read through of the script you know my first read of it was when he's first introduced as listening to space opera I was like okay I get a guy that does the things I know he's gonna do and he loves space opera gave me a clue and the second one was this you know just extraordinary line that he has later in the movie when he screams out there is no god that's why i stepped in i was like okay now i know <laughs> i know how this guy sees himself so those are two i mean you look for these little clues like you say that step is a great example of wow the sort of like ego of this guy does that make sense so yeah, yeah. I, i'm glad you picked up on that because that was another sort of anchor point for me for the kind of person he is yeah definitely and uh, will was your first scene he warlock gets such an incredible introduction which i won't spoil into this but was that your first scene that you filmed because i imagine if that was the case that would be quite stressful to me <laughs> no doing what you do in that scene yeah do you know strangely we jumped into kind of the third act of the movie actually i think on my first day okay. <clears throat> um which obviously i I won't detail for the same reason. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so, you know, typically, you know, we shot things kind of out of continuity and, and kind of slightly all over the shop. Um, but uh, yeah, I was just, I was glad to glad to be on set. Yeah, did you sort of, uh, obviously Chuck Rudy, you've worked with James Gunn before, so you sort of had an idea of how he worked. Did that help you? And same for you, Will, like did the expectation of what James Gunn as a filmmaker would be, did that be up to that expectation? Oh, it certainly helped me. I mean, just for practical levels, it helped coming into something so big, so many moving pieces, and knowing that the director was very unlikely to fire you. You know what I mean? That helps. <laughs> That's nice. You know, so that, that on that level, that was wonderful. But yes, I know James. I, we developed a sort of vocabulary together where I know that he likes to see what I bring. We see if it matches with what he had. If it matches, he always goes, okay, now do whatever you want. Because he's always looking. You never know. You might be able to bring something. Many scenes in, in doing Peacemaker with him started one way and ended in a completely different way because he was open to saying, we've got it. What else can we do with it? You yeah. know. So it, he kept that same uh, um, modus operandi when we were doing this uh, to a higher scale because there were a hell of a lot more bigger scenes to sort of explore it with. You know. Mm. So yeah, it helped to know that James was there. You know? Yeah, and whatever expectations I had were, were superseded by by working with James and, and seeing him on set and how he conducts himself and just, you know, his level of organization is unbelievable. Storyboards the whole movie, knows exactly what he wants. And then like Chuck said, he's also then allowing space to play and to experiment. And, and he has this kind of amazing line that you always want to hear as an actor, which is like, do whatever you want, you know? And so once he's got what he needs, he allows you that opportunity and it just makes for such a great experience. Yeah. Yeah. Did it mean you forgave him for the fact that you had to get painted in gold like every single day <laughs> and like, all that kind of stuff? Absolutely. The, 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 the visual effects makeup that we did, uh, it was, uh, yeah, all for a very, very worthy cause. <laughs> 